So this is the light speed uh, e-bike kit meant for cycles. It's a company based out of Ahmedabad and uh, they are uh, getting into e-bikes, manufacturing e-bikes and kits. So we got this kit from them and they asked us to check it out and uh, give us opinion. So just let me just walk you through the parts. The first uh, is the rim integrated motor, 250 watt motor with a rim. I like the integrated rim. Uh, there are many kits where uh, they don't give you the rim and they just give you the spokes and the motor separately. But this is nice. You can just plug and play. Uh, I like the black color. It fits in well with the surroundings. Um, it's a standard 250 watt motor. The important uh, component is the battery, which is a bottle shaped battery. And it's got an integrated controller. And uh, that's a pretty cool uh, part about this kit. Uh, it's a 5 amp charger, so it's a quick charger and uh, this looks like a very similar to the other uh, chargers we have observed in other kits. And the uh, other components of the kit are basically the components that go in the handlebar, like this is a uh, LED uh, indicator uh, and uh, these modes are for the pedal assist only, it doesn't affect the throttle, so it's a nice thing. And here you have the pedal assist sensor. It's a cadence based pedal assist sensor, which if you see here, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 magnets. So the, as your pedal, uh, it, sends a, it sends, sends a signal to the controller and that releases the amount of current needed to, for the motor to spin faster or lower or slower. So that is the cadence sensor here. Um, and then you have the brake, uh, brake uh, sensors here. So basically, it's a safety feature. When you uh, apply the brakes, uh, the current will be cut off to the motor. So, and the kit uh, has provided some, there's some nice touches here, like you have some tags and some grips. So, all in all, a great kit. Let's uh, fit it and let's see how it goes. I fitted the bottle battery on my bottle holder of my Phantom cycle. And uh, it's uh, very easy to screw it. And to take out the battery, you just twist the, twist the key and pull it out. There you go. Pull it out. Twist the key, pull it in. Twist the key, pull it out. So now you can take your bot bottle battery and go home and char charge the battery. Very easy system. And the connection is firm. The bottle is not shaking if I see. The bottle is not shaking and the controller is uh, firmly placed on the frame and very simple mount. The best part about this is that the bat battery and the controller are one piece. We have seen many, we have observed many kits where you have a separate controller box and a separate battery case and uh, uh, bat the battery not mounting properly on the controller and every time you, the bike jerks, uh, the battery can come off, come out of the controller. But in this case, the battery is sitting firmly on the controller and the position is very natural. I like the way it just sits and the way it is transferred down. It's a very natural position to place the battery. So there you have it. Sir. Uh, I'm in the Bane Hills Trail here in Pune and here I have with me kit the, from Lightspeed, an Ahmedabad based company. Uh, we checked out the components of the kit and now the kit is uh, installed on this bright looking cycle called Phantom. It's got this fluorescent color which really draws attention uh, towards the cycle. It's a single speed cycle with no gears and uh, it's a basic cycle which costs around uh, 7,500 bucks and uh, it's lightweight, it's, it just weighs around 15 kgs without the kit. It's a composite material cycle and uh, the kit adds around 5 kgs. So the, the kit com comes with uh, its own rim, you see the rim here is an alloy rim and it comes with its own spokes and a motor built in. So it's very easy to fit this motor in a cycle. You know. All you have to do is uh, 
take out the rim of the cycle and attach this rim. Uh, it's, it's pure plug and play that way. Okay, if you see it, if you see it says 36 volt 250 watt motor and, for, and it's meant for 26 inch wheel. So now cycle wheels come in various sizes 26 inch, 27.5, and 29 inch. The, the people in the company told me that they support 26 inch wheels, 27.5, and 29 inch wheels. So if you have a 29 inch um, cycle, you can uh, you will get a bigger rim that matches your uh, tire diameter. So this is a simple uh, 250 watt motor, and uh, I like the color. It's black. It's uh, very different from what we have seen so far. Uh, many of the kits we have seen um, come with a silver coated uh, motor or a uh, grey coated motor but this is black and it's nice it, it fits in with this phantom cycle especially with the floors and black it's a good combination and if you have a black cycle perfect it's, it's almost camouflaged so the, and the best part about this kit is the battery pack mounting of the battery pack is, is in a great position it's in the center here on your lower tube and uh, that distributes the weight evenly between your battery and your motor the weight is always uh, focused on your backside in this case uh, the weight is distributed evenly um, generally we have seen kits where you have the battery pack attached here on a carrier and uh, that that adds a lot of unsprung weight um, on the back and in this case it's all balanced out the battery is the weight of the battery is, is on the tube there and the motor weight is at the back so it's nice and balanced. And the next uh, important thing to talk about is the pedal assist sensor. This is the pedal assist sensor right here. This, uh, it's an 8 magnet sensor as we, as we saw before. And uh, you'll have to take, take out this uh, pedal and take out the crank and then put in the sensor here. And once that is done, and it, you'll ensure that this guy doesn't move. So as I pedal, you can, you can listen to the motor humming now. So it's me pedaling and uh, as you pedal, the pedal assist sensor senses that you're pedaling, it measures the speed, sends the signal to the controller and the controller then releases current from the battery to the motor. You can see the hum of the motor as I pedal. So this is a pretty awesome feature uh, that really makes pedaling fun like uh, I can pedal medium small medium hills and flyovers in cities and uh, I don't feel the strain at all and the wires here uh, they can be concealed and uh, tagged in a better manner so that's something that is to be worked on so in the handle we just we have the connectors coming out here from the controller the wires coming from the controller right here and uh, multiple connections here the first connection is to the throttle so this connection is the throttle so this is my uh, it's a twist throttle so as I twist you can see the motor spinning so so that's the twist throttle here it's a uh, very easy to operate just this part is the throttle and this is a grip so all I have to do is while running just throttle so I can either pedal and get an assist or if I don't want to pedal I can just throttle like a like a moped or a scooter so it's got both features and it's got a pretty uh, interesting LED screen here and uh, it has this uh, mode low medium and high Currently it's on low and there are a couple of uh, indicators for the battery state of charge and there's an interesting 6 kmph mode press this button so I'm pressing this button now I, I press this button now and you can see the motor spinning at 6 kmph so if you want to just walk the bike and it's a pretty interesting feature so it's a pretty simple LED display I like the sim simplicity of this um, as uh, it just gives you the very very steady indicator uh, in my, during my test rides I observed this indicator is very steady it doesn't fluctuate based on you know the gradient of the hill or uh, your uh, the throttling the bike uh, it, it's steady it just indicates what the battery capacity is these are three modes uh, for the pedal assist only this doesn't affect the throttle the, the throttle is not affected by these modes so I can change I can cycle through these modes by pressing this mode button here low medium and high so so if I'm on the low mode I get uh, less boost during pedal assist if on the medium mode I get more boost and high mode I get more boost okay so now I'm going to try the pedal assist um, sensor let's see how that works so I'm I'm ready I'm ready to pedal and uh, I'm set the mode to low so uh, on, this is a this is a 
simple trail, not uh, major incline on this trail. It's a muddy trail road, and uh, let's see how it, how it goes. So, I'm pedaling. As I pedal, I can clearly feel the boost, uh, the motor assisting me. So, very easy. Uh, The pedal assist sensor picks up uh, within a few seconds, I think within a couple of revolution, uh, rotation of your pedal. Uh, it, it starts uh, sending uh, uh, current to the motor and the motor starts spinning immediately. So, so the pedal assist system is pretty responsive. Okay, so now, okay, so now I'm on a paved road. And I'm going to use a combination of throttle and pedal assist. I'm going to try the pedal assist system on a paved road. Show you how comfortable it is. So, here I go. I set the mode to... Uh, let me set the mode to... High. And then... Let me try start pedaling. So, you see the pedal assist kicks off immediately. Uh, I, I, I'm just taking off. It's, it's uh, extremely comfortable. Also, the slight hill here. And, uh, so uh, this time I set the mode to high, and uh, let's see if I can show you. Okay, so here I have uh, the battery and then the charger provided with the kit. Uh, this is the charger. It's it says uh, input as three amps and output as five amps. Um, so this looks like a pretty fast charger. And the uh, battery has around 50%, less than 50% charge remaining. And uh, what I need to do is just plug it in. Here, right here, there's this opening here. I take it out and put it in. This is the plug that comes with the charger and all I need to do is just plug it in. Ooh, saw a spark there. And here you see um, a blue indicator that indicates that the battery is being charged. And uh, if I, I can immediately see there is a display, there is uh, electrons flowing between the cathode and the anode cells are getting charged oh okay, great so this is a very simple charge process it's uh, just this is as easy as charging a mobile phone so this particular kit comes with a uh, comes with a 3 amp charger but uh, i received a 5 amp charger this is charged 10.4 ah battery in around uh, 2 hours uh, but the actual kit comes with 3 amp 3 ampere uh, output uh, charger and that will charge the battery in um, in three hours so if you need a faster charger then you'll have to purchase the 5 amp charger from lightspeed at an additional cost so that's something that uh, you guys need to uh, be aware of so all in all this is a, a great kit it's got a, got a nice looking black colored motor 200 watt motor uh, with the integrated rim and your spokes uh, so it's got a bottle shaped battery with the controller the best best thing best part about this kit is the controller is integrated with the battery so you don't have a separate box and that makes it things very easy uh, and a very nice uh, simple led system to and uh, which shows all the important information so so this kit uh, i totally recommend this kit for beginners are getting into electric cycling uh, because of the ease with which you can install the kit uh, it's easily mount mountable 
the uh, the, the take you just have to take out the back wheel and put in the new uh, alloy rim. And the mounting the battery is easy. There's no messy controllers and battery wires coming out. Uh, I love it. I love the simplicity of this kit, and I also like the ride uh, quality. I, the pedal assist kicks in immediately, and uh, multiple levels of pedal assist is good. When I, I, I can easy, I'm able to easily climb uh, hills. I'm able to climb uh, uh, bridges. Uh, so this is perfect commuter city uh, kit that can be installed on your cycle, or if you want to buy a cycle like this, like the Phantom. Read the complete review on pluginindia.com and uh, do share this video and like and subscribe if you like the content we are doing and uh, ride safe, always wear a helmet. <laughs>